Hello, welcome back to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I am um, back in Austria. I am um, in uh, Altasse, and I'm going to take you inside the uh, SALT experience here, which is uh, one of the more interesting uh, tourist attractions. This area is known, of course, for um, the SALT and the significance of SALT mining, whether it's uh, um, Hi, welcome back to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I'm in um, Altasse in Austria and I'm taking you inside the uh, SALT experience here to give you a sense of um, how this um, important local property is dealt with in an experiential sense. If you saw my other video on the uh, Borax Museum, I think there's a similar um, emphasis here, a little less so on, on branding, but an emphasis on the natural uh, material, salt, and its significance in uh, local culture. So I want to take you inside and show you a bit of this experience here uh, in uh, Altasse, Austria. So of course we begin, right, with the experiential part of the tour. As you can see, we're getting dressed to go into the salt mine. And the experiential part of the tour then is, I think, augmented by the fact that you first put on the suits to wear into the mine. So that gives you that sense of uh, transformation that you might have when you cross into a threshold, into another space. One of the most effective parts of the, the tour, I thought, was this very beginning narrative, this funny guy, a comedian who talks about salt and he makes all these analogies to um, soup, which I thought was, was pretty clever. Then you begin a series of, at the start of the tour and the end, you do these very long walks um, into the mine. And uh, as might be expected, since it's a really a real working mine, uh, pretty cold. And the tour itself lasted over an hour and a half. And my uh, tour party was, a lot of us were surprised to find that it was this lengthy, um, you know, in terms of not having a bathroom break and some of the, the practicalities. But indeed, after you leave that room with the video, you go on this very long walk on these uh, wooden planks. As you can see, there's, there's some lights here um, above the mine. And a rather quick walk. And I was thinking, you know, if this was something that was uh, created or done in the United States, there'd be all these legal waivers you'd have to sign and so forth. And I was kind of surprised that there was nothing like that because it certainly was a somewhat unstable walk on these planks and um, it was very very quick and I wondered if you had people who weren't um, so agile on their feet how they would handle the walk. Um, the, the other thing you're going to note throughout here you know th there are these points where you see these little displays I don't know if I captured those and a bit of music and um, a couple times I just wondered you know what was the purpose of the music at that point and I'll, I'll comment on some of this later when I discuss this idea of telling the story of salt and uh, what it means. You can see here that um, the guide is, is talking a little bit about the mine and giving the uh, guests a sense of how it's used, the history of it and so forth. And the docents, the guides that um, go on these tours, I thought were the best part of the tour. The fact that they were so knowledgeable and so able to answer questions and the, to give you this personal guided tour. And that was probably the most effective thing in terms of um, going through the salt world was the knowledgeable docents who guided all of us um, through the mine. But of course the other side of immersion is asking ourselves how well are we immersed in any particular space and so I wanted to reflect in this video feature you know how do you tell the particular story at hand so in this case you're telling the story of salt and of course salt is super important to people in all cultures and certainly important to this region of, of Austria. And there are actually three of these uh, salt worlds that you can visit um, in addition to Altasse. There's, there's one in Hallstatt and one additional location. But I kept asking questions to myself like how are they telling the story? Now in this particular case they showed this interesting church and then after this they're going to get into the story about how the salt mines were used by the Nazis to steal uh, and preserve um, art uh, from the Jews. And so that, as a historical tale, I thought was very important and another highlight of the tour. But I felt that before and after that, they didn't do maybe as much as they could have about telling a very clear and compelling narrative about salt. Um, a bit too much fragmentation in my mind and I think they needed more consistency in terms of telling the story and as I'll mention later they could have developed some of the interactive components 
in a more effective sense to augment the story as opposed to just telling a story about or through technology. Yeah, so we just learned about um, St. Barbara here in, in the mind, so uh, quite interesting part of the tour here and also some about the, uh, the history of the art in terms of um, over 8,000 uh, paintings restored here due to the uh, perfect conditions uh, that were possible here in, in the uh, salt mines. So then as the story progresses, um, there's this room and they actually remove the kids um, from part of this because they said it was going to be disturbing, but it wasn't terribly disturbing. There were some simulated explosions and they, they talked about how um, some of the Nazis tried to destroy the entrance to the mine and destroy some of the artwork. Unfortunately, uh, most of it was, was recovered. Um, but at the start of this section, I felt that there were a series of screens here and there were images of the art, but you didn't really get a story. You had a lot of flashing images. You saw some of the art, and you continue to see that uh, a little bit later. And indeed, it seemed like the story being told here was the significance of history and art, uh, a little bit of the dark Nazi past, which you can see here, some, some of that imagery. Um, it wasn't highlighted in a political sense, as you might get in a war museum or in a Holocaust museum, but was addressed. But I felt that there wasn't, you know, for 10, 15 minutes as we're watching these screens, there wasn't a clear story being told. And I thought that this could have been developed because you want to leave the guests with some memories or impressions about what they basically should get out of the story of salt. And I think the intrigue here would be to take something that maybe has a commonplace association, we use it in our foods, but what more than that, and to give us the magic behind it. Again, you're seeing a little bit more here of, of the period about the stolen art. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I felt that the technology here, though innovative in some design uh, perspectives, didn't do enough to go beyond the technology, to tell us a story as opposed to simply um, showing us some cool technology. And this part was, was fairly interesting, almost like a quasi-ride. Um, at two points during, during the tour, you slide down uh, these wooden slides and uh, that I thought was was kind of cool um, you actually I think after you slide down you walk back up the stairs and then there's another one just a little bit later so that's a break in the momentum a break in the story it's light I mean people laughed you're gonna see uh, laughed a little bit you're gonna see me uh, I believe going down here in, in just a second to go pro and in, in hand I think that's that's me hard to tell here yeah, indeed. And you're going to oh, get yes. the shot of the, not exactly a great action shot, but you get the idea. Very short slide down. Um, but, th but this is effective because it breaks um, the narrative a little bit. It's a long tour, so it's a bit of levity. It's enjoyable. And as a result, I think it's an effective part um, in, in two places of the tour through the salt mine. Okay, so now we're getting into a section. There was a very large um, amphitheater and they made uh, mention of the fact that it used to be a stage and there were concerts there but due to uh, basically fire marshal type regulations they can no longer hold um, these concerts there and I don't think I have any images of, of the stage but so there was a bit of a light show here um, kind of projected I guess on the back of the walls you can see and this had some I thought interesting visual elements to it but as I'm going to mention here in a second um, I didn't feel that this last part of the tour effectively used technology in such a way other than for technology itself. And I think one of the things you have to think about in creating an immersive space and trying to relate narrative or story through that space is, can you advance the story, the story in caps, versus telling a story? This was a point where there was music and there was a conductor and I guess it was referencing the fact that there was the stage or still is a stage that doesn't get used anymore um, you know cool I guess to look at it went on for quite a while I won't show you all of the video because it's really really long but I asked why do you have a conductor you know what at this moment in time in this telling the story of the salt the conductor doesn't have anything to do with the salt it's kind of a cool thing it looks interesting visually but has nothing to do with salt and I'm not necessarily saying you'd want you know a, uh, a cartoon character salt shaker as opposed to a conductor up there on the walls but 
there needed to be something else to advance the specific story as opposed to just telling a story or showing a cool image of a conductor um, with with some music and some other imagery. So it's something that I would I would take away from this uh, story here at the Salt World in Altosse, Austria. And then the tour ends with another, as you can see here, long walk um, back out through uh, the caves. Um, at the end, not unlike a theme park ride, and I mentioned this earlier, you have uh, the cameras that uh, capture you as you go down uh, one of the, the two slides. So this, you know, in an experiential sense, um, you know, mimics a little bit of the experience of uh, going to a theme park and, and going on a ride in that you can uh, have your own image uh, to take with you. And of course, you exit uh, through the gift shop as well. And you see a sample of some of the many things that were on sale in terms of the salt theme that is maintained quite consistently in the gift shop. Yeah, and quite appropriately, when we leave, we get our own mini salt to take with us. And beyond the free salt shaker, you can purchase any number of other types of salt. Um, you can see different um, accoutrements, um, pens. Uh, you know your your typical salt, your typical salt, your typical souvenir shop that in this case has a salt theme. So I hope you enjoyed this video experience day here in uh, Austria, taking a look at the importance of salt and how it's dealt with um, in an immersive sense, uh, in an experiential sense. So please come back for additional video features uh, of uh, sites like this and many others from around the world.